What's going on folks? It's K Spade the Prospect. I am back today with a brand new Madden 16 franchise mode video for you guys. You see Coach Ed Reed took his secondary out there at practice, taught him some of that stuff that only Ed Reed could teach to try to get this secondary to step it up to an even higher level. They've been playing pretty good, but an even higher level. If you guys saw the last video, Johnny Hithart returned from injury to help the Raiders. Got him off of that losing streak. The Raiders lost two in a row. Johnny came back and said, look, enough, enough. The dude was all over the field. He led the Raiders in tackles. He got a sack. He was getting to the quarterback. He was everywhere. He's going to have to do all of that and some in today's game against this high-powered Seattle Seahawks offense. Two titans in the NFL. Both of these teams mean business. It's going to be fireworks on the field today. Look at this. Jermaine Curse was right there. Johnny had him wrapped up. And somehow or another, Curse was able to get out of that would-be tackle and keep going and picked up the first down. I want you to see that Seattle is not only moving the ball on this first drive of the game, but they moving the ball in chunks, y'all. But right here, boom. Hit hard, ho. Look at that boy. Turned him around. He was facing the wrong way, y'all. He turned him around. On second and goal, look at Johnny. Even though he didn't get the tackle right there, he completely destroys this play in the backfield. Crack one running back. He ain't want to play no more. Put the other back in. Johnny was wrapping him up. But how many opportunities can you give a good team like Seattle from inside the five before they score? They're going to score. 7-0 Seattle, man. Young Ben Butler, get whoa. Whoa, Ben, I ain't even get a chance to introduce you, Ben. Young Ben Butler gets in the game and throws a strike to OG Bobby Wagner. Now, Bobby Wagner is a beast. Look at Bobby. He just had a pick six. He comes back right here and pushes Latavius Murray out of bounds. It's a 14-0 game, and the Raiders have only run four or five offensive plays. They got to settle this game down quick before it gets out of hand. This ain't the type of team you want to play from behind on. They just, they're too good, especially defensively right here Tavon Austin getting up off the ground getting that catch for Tavon to be a small guy the dude can go up and get him beautiful strike right here Ben Butler settling down nice throws a strike to Lee Smith Lee you got to get in the end zone right there bro you're a big dude Ben getting his guys back to the line they're going no huddle takes the snap from the gun gets it over to DeAndre Hopkins on a quick screen DeAndre fighting for the pylon and he gets it. The Raiders are on the board. Let's go. Now let's see if this defense can do something. 14-7. Look at this beautiful play action pass by Russell Wilson. Curse looked like he's ready for a big day, y'all. He looked like he's ready for a big day. This running back that the Seahawks got, the dude was the real deal. I don't know who he is, but he was the real deal. He was getting it in. Right here, Khalil Mack is over there to meet him and bring him down before he gets too many yards. It's a third down, no pressure whatsoever on Russell Wilson, and his receiver just sold him out. Gave up the, on the first date, gave it up, yo. So the Raiders offense back on the field with an opportunity to tie this game up. This could change everything. Play action pass for Ben Butler. Time in the pocket, rolling out, buying more time and misses his target, yo. He had Amari Cooper over the middle. He tried to throw it on the run. Completely missed the target. Seattle offense back on the field. Ooh, Curtis Lofton though just about got fed up with Curse. That's a big time hit right there on first and goal. Look at the fella, yo. Breaking the first initial tackle. Johnny Hithart coming up and cleaning the play up. It is third and goal from just inside the 10. Russell's rolling out and oh my God, look at the toe taps. Beautiful catch. The throw wasn't even that great. Look at Johnny and Curse over there getting tied up. The throw wasn't, I mean, it was a good throw to the back of the end zone, but the catch was amazing. 21-7 Seattle. Oakland offense back on the field. It's early in the second quarter, y'all. The game's not over, but damn, you talking about coming out in the first round and taking a couple of punches to the face? That's what we got right here. The Raiders backs are on the rope. They got to do something. Look at the blitz. Beautiful strike, though. Ben knew he was going to get hit. Stood in there, delivered a beautiful strike. Lee Smith did the rest. Lee, but you eating today, boy. You eating. Raiders offense inside the red zone. They go Latavius Murray. Beautiful run, falling forward. Look at this Seattle defense, though, y'all. They are fast. They fly to the ball, and they make plays. Latavius gets in the end zone right here. 
kind of showing out for the Raiders crowd. Let's get it, man. It's a seven-point game, so the Raiders have come out and played a little shaky offensively, but they are still here. And you know what? Nate says, hold up. Nate the Great comes up with an interception. We haven't seen the Black play play too great this year. But like I said, Coach Ed Reed took a little bit of extra time with the Black Plague, and these guys look like they ready. They ready for action. Ben Butler dropping back the pass, rolling out, surveying the field, deciding to keep it, and safely sliding down after about eight yards. Later in that drive, it is second and ten. Butler, woo, across the middle to Latavius Murray. Latavius falls into the end zone. Tie game. Let's go. 21-21, man. This Raider team is showing a whole lot of heart in this game, yo. Down 21-7, it's real easy to give up, especially against an opponent like Seattle. The Raiders ain't got no quit in them, though, y'all. No quit whatsoever. Bounce back. Russell Wilson, play action pass right here. Johnny's on the way. He gets to Russell. Russell stands in there, delivers the strike, and Jimmy Graham is out there swatting these black play guys off of him, left and right. Whatever the black plague is, somebody must have sprayed Jimmy Graham down with some off. I don't know. He got the antidote. He ain't trying to have it right here again. Web up, slapping Victor Small upside the head, picking up the yak to put his team inside the red zone again today. Russell Wilson from the gun. Beautiful pass. He found a hole in the zone, and damn, he found it quick, too. Like, he just dropped back. Surveyed the field, threw a strike. We go into the half, man. I don't know. Is it? I don't know if the Raiders are gonna be all right or what, yo. I mean, I feel like they in the game, but good grief, everything that Seattle is doing right now seems to be working. Everything. The Raiders do get it back in the third quarter, so though if you score here, everything is great. Nice run. You pick up about seven or eight yards, and of course, it's some laundry on the damn field, and of course, it belongs to the Raiders. Offensive holding negates the entire play. Now you're in a must-pass situation. But no, the Raiders say they're not passing. They go pistol. Latavius Murray busting through the middle, dragging Seahawks. That's a hell of a run. Fourth down, the Raiders are going for it, and here comes the pressure. Earl Thomas the third off the edge. He gets to Tim Tebow before he can even get out of the play-action animation. That's a costly turnover. Come on, Ed Reed. Punt the ball, Ed. Come on. But hold up, though. Johnny says, wait. Johnny hit hard, floating in the zone. It looked like Russell Wilson looked right at him. I don't know if he owed him a favor. I don't know if he's lost a bet or what. He throws it right to Johnny hit hard. The Oakland Raiders offense back on the field. Tim Tebow on the run. He's going to check it down to Eshack Sharp. Eshack doesn't get much before he is brought down to the turf. You guys are right, too. Latavius Murray must have went up front. And hated on Eshack. Eshack is not getting the carries this year. And nobody is happier than Latavius Murray, who leads the league in rushing. First and ten. Butler with time in the pocket. Beautiful strike right there. DeAndre Hopkins is going to hold on to it. Got the hell knocked out of himself. But he held on to it. Right here. Oh, no. Look at this right here. It was a deflection. But the linebacker made an amazing play to scoop it before it hit the turf. And that's another pick six. Two, Ben Butler is having the worst day ever. And what we got right here, folks, hold on. I'm getting a report from the sideline. Coach Ed Reed is making a QB change. It is Tebow time here in Oakland, folks. 35-21, Tim Tebow is in the game, and his first pass is beautiful. Looks good. Looks good. Third and short right here. Tebow turns around, gives it to Murray. That's all you got to do for short yardage. Look at Latavius fight. Latavius won his job, man. He must read these comments. He hear y'all saying, make Eshak the man. And Latavius took matters into his own hands. Muhammad Sanu with a great pickup of yardage after the catch right there. Second and long. Tebow has time. He tucks it, takes off. You better get down, Tebow. These dudes ain't playing no games. Tim Tebow right now looking like the man. Inside the red zone, he's going to check it down to Latavius Murray, who couldn't quite break that tackle right there. They got him down before he could do anything. Third and seven. Tebow, tucking it, running, breaking a tackle, being brought down around the two-yard line. Man, if Tebow had a guy in that damn end zone, man, he would have won the starting job right there on that play alone. Now, this was weird right here. Murray gets stopped on first down. The Raiders go no huddle. They're going to try to get to the outside right here. Lee Smith completely got blown up on that play. He was so far in the backfield, he looked like the damn running back. It is third and goal. Play action to Eshack Sharp. Tim Tebow on the run, and he misses a wide-open target in the end zone. He was wide open. The Raiders go for it on fourth again. Beautiful pass. 
I don't know if he's in. Clive Walford can't get both feet in in the back of the end zone. I don't know if you guys saw the blitz, but them guys was barreling down. And speaking of barreling down, Russell Wilson turns around, threw a blind pass to a receiver who beat Drake Kirkpatrick, took it to the house. Oh, my God, folks, this game is getting ugly. What happened? What happened? 21-42. Ed Reed got to take some blame for that. Some of this going for it on fourth down, man, put him in a worse situation. But the offense is just not playing well right now. Tim Tebow missed two receivers in the red zone that would have got him a touchdown. And, oh, my God, whatever Ben Butler is suffering from, the same damn disease has gotten Tim Tebow. I can't take no more, y'all. I'm pulling the curtains. Tim Tebow would go on to throw two more interceptions himself. I'm going to deem this game the interception bowl. We're going to take this footage, set it on fire. I never want to see this game again, yo. And I hope if we see the Seahawks again, I hope Josh Williams is back. Anyway, folks, you can't win them all. We got our asses kicked in this game. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, though. That's all I got for today. Catch you guys on the next one, all right? Peace.